Greetings to you. Let us explore the meaning behind the lyrics of Vaidalot by Drugba. In general, the song is about the Baltic priests named Vaidalots and the ritual surrounding their deaths. Let us begin. <laughs> According to the Prussian Chronicle, a 16th century literary work written by Simon Grunau, there have been priests named Vidalots among the various Baltic tribes, especially the Prussians, not related to the later German-speaking Prussians. This is probably the only information in the book that is trustworthy. All the other knowledge is likely to be myths and legends, even if rooted in actual facts. Anyway, Vidalots catered to the spiritual needs of their people, but later traditions also described them as law keepers, kinda like it was with the Celtic Druids. Out of all the laws related to Vidalots, one in particular stands out. It is the subject of this song, and it is the law mentioned in the lyrics. What was this law? The song proceeds to explain. In specific circumstances, Vidalots were expected to perform self-immolation with sacred fire. We will get to explaining these circumstances in a later verse, but for now, let us talk about why it is called a law in the song. All in all, it seems that the act of burning things has been very significant for the Prussians. It was considered to be both a way to destroy the physical form of an object or person and a way to free the spirit of living beings, so that it can go to the realm of the gods. At the same time, burning as a punishment and burning as a religiously exalting act were distinguished. The Prussian Chronicle says that those who are being punished must be burned far away from sacred places and their ashes must be scattered on a major road. Conversely, when burning is performed in a commendable way, it should happen during a celebration in a sacred place. According to the Prussian mythology, the practice was established when the two progenitors of the Prussian people, upon becoming old, willingly entered a sacred fire and by burning themselves freed their spirits to go to the gods. Thus, it appears that the quote-unquote historical precedent became a highly regarded custom and later developed into an elaborate set of rules. It was probably considered somewhat shameful for Vidalots not to follow this rule, or maybe it was actually codified as a proper law. One of the main circumstances in which Vidalots were expected to perform the self-immolation was sickness or their advanced age. When it was determined that due to being old or ill, a Vidalot was unable to perform his duties, it was time to follow the fiery ritual. As mentioned before, the act itself was actually quite commendable. Not only the old priest's spirit would be released into a better world, but he himself might be considered a very esteemed person. After all, he did like his divine ancestors had done, and thus it was an action favored by the gods. Before we wrap up this video, I would like to once again comment on the source of this information. The Prussian Chronicle is a very interesting piece to read, but there is very little in the way of proving the information within. Some ethnographic studies suggest that the core of what has been described is likely to be true. That is, that there have been priests called Vidalots, there have been sacred places and burning has been a religiously important thing. But, unfortunately, any details beyond that are highly speculative. That's all for the meaning behind the lyrics of Vidalot by Drigba. All the links to the band are in the description. Thanks for watching.